this is a video completely wasn't going to make a video today. I haven't washed my hair, so I have a beanie on down. And um, I just, yeah, um, totally unexpected video. wasn't going to make it, but I am so goddamn pissed off right now. I'm going to make it anyway. So if you follow my Facebook, you already know what's got me all hot and bothered in a bad way. If you don't, what's happened is the dog and cat are going to have to be rehomed. Not working out. It's a very hard decision to make. I'm not happy with it. Nobody's happy with it, but you know what? That's just the way things are. There's the cat back there. Dog was just here trying to suck up to me, which I just can't be bothered right now. I don't want it. Sorry if that sounds cruel. What happened is, okay, for one, the cat refuses to go in the litter box. Like, she is pissing and shitting all over the floor every single day. She goes into the room where the litter is, and she won't touch the litter itself even though it's clean doesn't matter she won't go she's pissing and shitting huge puddles on the floor i'll put a picture of what we found yesterday right here so that's fucking gross you know um dog is also shut in the bathroom don't know how the fuck she did that because she's always being watched now that's one problem you could chalk that down to lots of reasons. I, I've i fostered and owned well over 100 cats in my lifetime. Many, 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 so many, I can't even count. This is a problem I've never personally ever encountered. It's still something that I could get over, I'm sure, in time. Whatever. That is not the reason for the rehoming. The reason for the rehoming is that fucking dog bites. Now, we took her... I have a dog walk video. I might just upload it anyway just because it was a fun video. All three of us were out. All three of us were walking. It was a good day. Nothing bad had happened yet. Then we went to Logan's grandma's house and his grandma was like petting her, touching her collar because the collar was quite tight. The dog started growling at her and then she fucking bit her. She like nipped at her and she actually bit her. And we were like, oh shit, you know, and real on edge the rest of the night picked her up and just went home. When we were here, Logan was brushing out her fur a little bit. So he's like brushing her out and she starts growling and tries to bite him. And then she goes and she actually does bite and she bites the comb, bites it right out of his hand. And we're like, what the fuck? She's PMSing today. You know, she has a, she's in a bad mood today. Both of us were not happy about the biting, but we were like, what the fuck? We'll deal with this in the morning. So we went to bed, woke up the next day, tried to act like everything was fine. I had her here on my lap. I was petting her, giving her love and everything. Marmalade walks by. She's way over there on the other side of the room, which I don't know if you can see. Um, she's about where that blue cat house is. So it's not too close to us, not too far. Anyway, so she's over there. And all of a sudden, the dog jumps out of my arms, growling, rushes over, and attacks Marmalade. Tries to fucking bite her. And she fucking actually knocked her. Like, I saw the cat tumble and get get pushed. And yeah, she's little, but uh, it's still an attack, you know. And Logan says that he saw Marblade actually get bitten. Not bitten, but um, get thrown by the dog. Like, you know, she grabbed her and she kind of like, I don't know what he saw. What he saw. I didn't see it. All I saw was her growling, jumping off me, chasing the cat down and attacking. So that's three attacks in two days. For me... That's it. That's the sign for me, you know. And my issue is that people are like, oh, you're not giving her enough time. Obviously, she needs socialization. She needs more time. And it's like, how many of you people, if Marmalade was a human baby, would have said instantly, get rid of the dog. It's not worth your baby. Why is it okay for me to risk my cat? Yeah, my cat is like a kid to me. She, she might just be a cat, but you know what? She's my baby, okay? I also have a son. Yeah, he's 21, but... I have a son, I have a husband, I have myself. I don't want any of us getting bitten. My grandmother-in-law, whatever, was bitten already. And my husband was almost bitten and my cat was attacked. You know, all you people who say, oh, give her more time, give her more time. What if I gave her that time? And she was unprovoked this time. She was being loved and patted. There was nothing going on. The cat wasn't even playing or doing anything to draw attention to herself. She was just walking by. And the dog's just like, fuck this shit, I'm going to fucking kill her. And she went after her. And it's like, she was unprovoked that time. What if she's unprovoked again? And in this time, I'm trying to get her trained or whatever. What if she fucking seriously hurts or kills my cat? 
was it really worth it? Fuck no. And if, if Marmalade was a human baby, say, I'm here holding her, somebody walks in holding my human baby, and the dog jumps and tries to attack the baby, all of you people online would be like, get rid of the dog. Get rid of it because it's not worth putting your baby at risk. But yet these same people are coming to me telling me that I'm being bad and I'm, oh, this fucking goddamn cunt from here, this fucking New Zealand fucking druggy looking asshole commented on my post saying, oh, this is such a fucked up status, something, something, I forgot what the fuck he said. And then he's like, your meth dealer must be proud. Like, I have to be on drugs to want to protect my family and my other pets from a fucking animal that has no problem with attacking other animals. No, you know what? Fuck you. I'm fucking sorry. But I'm not putting any of us, including my animals, at risk because this dog is not socialized. I didn't know that it was like this. I could deal with the, the shit and the piss and all that shit if I had to. But I am not going to home a dog that attacks. I don't care what you guys think of me. I'm not saying kill it, take it to the pound. All I've done is tell the owners, you know what, this isn't working. You need to find another home for your animals and most likely probably one that doesn't have other pets because these two were always spoiled. They were top of the fucking, top of the list. Princesses ran the fucking house and then coming into another household with other animals and they're not top of the house. They don't like it. They're not adjusting. They are not fucking happy. They will not do in a house with other animals. And instead of the owners being like, thank you for keeping me informed every step of the way, these are my babies, I just want to see them in a home that's suitable, they're turning around accusing both of us of lying, saying that we're neglecting them, we're abusing them, we're hating them, or we're not having her in the cage, we're not watching them. Fuck that shit too, because I was super fucking happy to get her. I rushed out the next day. I didn't even get groceries for myself. I got fucking food for the fucking dog. Really expensive fucking food because she was on some shit supermarket shit. I fucking have this huge watch list, watch list of a another crate for her and some clothes and a fucking pretty pink harness and all this shit I wanted to buy for her. And I got the cat fucking wet food and she's on some fucking hundred dollar fucking bag food as well. I didn't do all this just to play games. I did all this because they were supposed to be here for good. And I could tolerate a lot of shit, but not my family getting attacked. And that's where I draw the line. That's where I'm not putting up with it anymore. And I don't care if you think I'm bad. Uh, 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 no. And I'm pissed off at the owners for not listening and working with me and instead just accusing me of lying. What our schedule is, is Logan snores all the time. Now he's getting, he's back to getting worse again. So I can't sleep at all. So I'm awake, agonizingly tired, all night long until he gets up for work in the morning. So pretty much I have to stay awake till 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Then I get to go to sleep. That's normally the time she'd be waking up. Because for the first day or two I was still able to sleep because he wasn't snoring as bad. So I was getting up, taking her outside. And then he started with the snoring, so now it's changed again. So what is currently happening is I'm up, but she's in her bed, in her crate. She's sleeping. She's still on her normal schedule. Then, fucking, um, he gets up for work, I go to sleep. When he gets up, he takes her outside to go to the toilet, and then he brings her back in until 8 o'clock, which is only two hours, and then I get Dorian up, and then Dorian, that's the time he needs to be up looking for work anyway. He's up, he's out here, he's watching her. He takes her outside, he has an alarm set on his phone, takes her out every single hour. So she goes to the bathroom all throughout the day. She is always watched. Somebody is always with her. So there's no neglect there. None of us have hit her. None of us have done anything to any of those two except hold them, cuddle them, baby them, love them. That's it. And I was super fucking happy to have them. But seeing the puddles and puddles of piss and shit, seeing shit in the bed, it's like everywhere you walk, it's like animal shit. And that's fucking disgusting. I have a hard enough time keeping the house clean with Logan, much less animals that just walk around pissing and shitting everywhere just because they can or whatever. And a fucking animal going and attacking my cat who I love more than anything, you know, and you know, I just can't get over these people thinking that I'm doing a bad thing or the owner saying that I'm lying just because she's never seen the behavior. Well, she's never rehomed them before. You know, sometimes you don't know how an animal is going to act until you put them in a certain situation. They're in the situation where they have to share a home with other animals and they don't like it. They need to go to a home without any animals. I'm sure they'll be a bit, uh, and they've only been here a few days. So they should be fine to adjust somewhere else. They haven't been here long enough to really get used to it here. And again, above all else, I am not risking anybody or her 
because a dog just randomly decided to attack. I don't know what is going to set it off. I don't know what may, might make her attack again. And I'm not doing it. And I don't care if you think I'm a fucking cunt for it. I'm not doing it. The owner's going to take her back and she's going to find a different home for her. And I just wanted to blow off some steam because I'm so pissed off at people fucking saying that it's not okay to want to rehome her, that I should try, 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 try. When I've seen the comments on, on videos and posts about little kids getting attacked by animals and instantly they want the animal dead. And it's like, everybody can stick up for a fucking human, but like animal lives don't matter. Like it's just, Oh, I just fucking hate people like that so much. And then the fucking ignorant comments I'm getting and the lack of support has just really got my fucking head spinning. You know, I would have thought people would have been like, it's a tough choice for you. I understand, but you're doing what you have to do, which is exactly how it is. It's a fucking hard choice because I wanted this so bad. I've been after a little dog since I lost my little skelly in 2011. And from 2011 till now, I'm finally getting a fucking little dog, and then look at what fucking happens. So no, I'm not happy, and this is not the way I wanted things to be, but you know what? This is the way it is, and I have to look at the big picture, and I have to look out for myself and my family and my loved ones, and this is the way I have to do it. So there's my fucking update. Sorry if you don't agree with me. If you do, awesome, and if you don't, you know what? I don't even want to fucking hear it because I'm just going to probably explode on you and be a total bitch like everybody thinks I am because... There is just no argument here. It's your family versus a dog that bites. And you know what? Maybe you could take it in and put everybody at risk or not care. But you're not me and I'm not doing it. So I don't care what you think of me about it. Um, if you've watched this far through, I'll probably have to make another video stating this. But if you've watched this far through, I'm having trouble now that I have actual interaction on my page commenting to replies. So if you comment and I reply and you comment back, Maybe make a new comment instead of replying to that because by the time you reply to me, I can't find your comment to continue the conversation. Also, those of you looking for a way to contact me, all my links, my links like right there in the video description to my fan page. And from there, it links to my normal page or my hotmail. Everything's on my YouTube about me page. So please just look because having to answer when it's like right there gets a little bit annoying and I'm just in a real shit mood. Don't know how long this is going to go on, probably until they're fucking gone, but I'm not a happy camper right now, and uh, this has ruined my whole fucking day, so whatever. I'll see you guys soon, hopefully with a much better video, and I'll upload the one of us out taking her for a walk before the biting happened, just because it was a fun day, and it was all three of us, but aside from that, I don't know. I'll figure something out, and I'll see you guys next time, hopefully in a better mood.